Welcome back. We are Kendall and Glenn and we are traveling Australia in our 1982 VW T3 named Vance. We're about 10 months into our travels and we decided that there were too many little things about the inside of Vance that we wanted to change. So we thought, screw it, let's completely redo the inside. So we're now in week three. If you missed week one, um, there's the video that we put up um, a couple of weeks ago. There, won't, there wasn't a week two video because it was a weird one. We, <laughs> we basically, we had a pretty good rhythm with the workshop we were at, um, continuing with the van build. And then a COVID case popped up in South Australia, which caused the whole state to sort of freak out and eventually turn into a full blown lockdown, which meant we nothing at all was open. No gyms, which meant no showers. The workspace we were working in, you couldn't live in and you had to have an address and things like that, which made things very difficult for us. Thankfully, we found uh, an Airbnb to go to. It was supposed to be six days and even better, it was shortened to three, which, <laughs> We had a really bad three-day <laughs> lockdown, guys. <laughs> we were worried that it was just going to keep going, but thankfully it went the other way. So yeah, it's been a weird week, not a whole lot to show for it. Uh, we were still doing stuff with Vance and making steps towards um, getting to the gutting phase, which we are at now, which is really exciting. Yeah, today <laughs> is the day that we finally completely got Vance. Yeah, so far we've kept him completely livable. And uh, as you'll have seen in the previous video, we've been basically building all the cabinetry outside of Vance in the workshop that we're hiring. But now's the day that we really have to take absolutely everything out, give a big clean and start slipping in the pieces that we've already made externally. And then I imagine there'll be a couple of tweaks we'll need to make, but mm -hmm. today's the day of no return really. Once it's out, there's no going back. There's no going it back. It has to work. <laughs> I, hope, I hope you did your measurements right. <laughs> well, really way to find out. And in terms of the progress of how long it's going to take, how the next few days are going to go, we have no idea. So it's a rough plan in place, but we all know these things should take a whole lot longer than you think. So first coffee, because we have to make it through this day yeah. somehow. It's going to be in the high 30s, which I believe is high 90s. It's going to be a long day, long few days, but we're so excited that it's finally here. Yeah. So let's get into it. Filling up the best way we know how. <laughs> Ta da! Peanut butter banana wraps. Yes. <laughs> no wrap for me, but still just as good. Starting with the easiest stuff. Are these big fellas, and then onto the tricky stuff. <laughs> currently 8.05 it's still hot 
We're still tired. No surprise. We knackered. What a day. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Look at Vance. Glamorous. <laughs> this is where we're staying tonight. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, the first half of the day was really quick. It was like mm. such a quick, like pulled everything out. And it felt like we were going places. Yeah. And then I was just like cleaning stuff. But then I was just kept like checking different size things that I have for the cabinets to see if they'll slot in, how they'll go. I have to still sort out our electrics a bit more because I'm changing them and I have a different battery that goes in a different place. Blah, blah, blah. Plus still sanding and varnishing over and over again because we have, there's so much dust in the air at this place. When you varnish, it'll make it gross. So we have to be in like this little pocket. But because I only have a little pocket, I can only do little pieces at a time, which is just dragging out the whole experience. But Big day, big old big day. day. We've got a huge day tomorrow, and to make things worse, we were there's a heat wave coming. We're not even in it, and we were told this afternoon that this place is going to be closed in two days' time, which is probably like the worst time other than tomorrow. Yeah. So they're going to be closed two days' time, and most likely the day after that, which makes life way harder. Especially because it, it it's because of a heat wave, so we can't just hang out here. We have to go somewhere colder, or not even colder, but just like it's by the bearable. coast or something. So that means Vance has to be drivable in drivable condition by this time tomorrow. Yeah. So we've now just like it's such a it's such a puzzle as to like how much of the cabinetry we do, how solid will it be? Because it's so interdependent of one another structurally, and obviously a moving car driving around. So a lot of logistical of like, things yeah. to figure out and it's hard to do and it's so hot and we're so tired <laughs> yeah yeah ideally in two days time would be when like the final sort of pieces would be coming together of fitting it but now it's sort of do we sm try and smash it tomorrow and rush which is the last thing i want to do because that's what happened in our first build and it was stressful or do we put it off which would almost be just leave Vance like this for another few days which is almost more annoying we'll, we'll see how far we get tomorrow Tomorrow's and then make that decision because we could smash out a lot tomorrow but yeah you just never know with these things like yeah. some things seem to go just boom 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 and other times it's just a bit more tedious so yeah massive day hopefully we'll get some sleep if it cools down a bit tonight and then another scorcher tomorrow mm. but we're going to hook straight back into it I'll see you guys there Morning coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. How glamorous. Love it. This was our sleeping situation. Not too bad though. It was cooler than expected. Wasn't hot and... Big day ahead. Yeah. Okay. On to the next day in the same clothes that we were in yesterday. <laughs> How good. How it's good. great. Today is going to be a very, very big day. Yeah. Um, first, what, we're taking the bed out to try to fit the new one? Yeah, which basically means we're really screwed. If Vance isn't drivable today, we're screwed because once this is out, we have to have the new bed in, but the new bed has to be locked in with the closet, which has to be locked in with that. So it's all or nothing. Once the bed's out, which we're going to do this morning, that's it. No pressure. <laughs> Great. No pressure. It's going to be a big old day, but I'm keen. Yeah, we're, we're pumped. We're going to put on some music and just get into it, and hopefully we can do it. <laughs> we come out the other end with smiles on our faces. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, Kendall's inside painting, as always. Um, I'm going to start finally figuring out the glamorized crate that I've made. Basically the back half, so these ones have engines in them, in the back, I don't know if anyone knows. That's like lifting the hood of a car. So we still need access to it if we have a service or anything like that. So the back half still needs to be able to lift up. And it also means we don't have that much storage underneath. So I just wanted to get a little bit of storage for us. We can put like tables, throws, stuff like that, just so that it's not in the front part, but it still does need to lift up. So I've got some pretty beefy hinges at the back that I then need to put some um, solid mounting panels to mount it in the middle because the foot end as well is also going to lift up for storage under the bed as well. So 
now that everything's out, I can finally probably start thinking about knocking this in place. But then everything else is dependent on everything else. So, we'll see how we go. Dinner time. <laughs> Stoked. Been a big day. Oh man. Clearly not finished. But we're on track. There's been heaps of little like fine tuning with it in vans, particularly yeah. this back section. The, the curvature of vans changes a fair bit and there's a few little nooks and crannies that we need to either cut around or try and make flush and stuff. So it's probably been the most tedious. And then also how we're fixing the bedding and how it ties into it. But now we're, it's looking pretty good. Yeah. It's looking pretty good. We've got a couple more things we've got to paint. Yep. But I have to cut them and then Ken has to paint them. And then I think we'll just keep dropping them in over the next three hours or something. However, well, however long they stay open tonight. We have tonight. like two and a half more hours to go. <clears throat> we should be done, I think, right? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It's definitely not going to be done, but the to be able to drive in vans with a lot of the cabinetry in, we'll get there. If it keeps going smoothly. <laughs> we'll see. But right now. Food food. time. What a night. What a day. <laughs> it even started raining for a moment. We had all of our stuff, everything, everything we've built, all of our like clothes, everything that was in bands just out because it wasn't supposed to rain for days. And of course, in typical Kendall and Glenn fashion, it started, it started raining. raining when we were like an hour and a half left to the day for the workshop to be open. Rain clouds came in and we were like, oh my god. We just had too much stuff. Our entire life, plus everything we've built, plus just tools, everything was just outside. Nothing got damaged though. No, like, thankfully it was, it was fine. But we went into panic mode when we shouldn't have. Well, yeah. we really didn't need it. But we've, uh, we gave it a good crack, but <laughs> it got to a point that we just didn't want to be rushed. Yeah. We rushed the first build we did and it, we didn't enjoy the build at all. Yeah. And today was similar to that where, like, we weren't even, like, you weren't celebrating the little wins. It was just stressful, which is the whole point in having this place and having the time was to do it right, do it high yeah. quality and not rush it. So it gets to a point where you're wanting to, like, rush how much paint you're going to put on and screw it, let's just put it in. But Yeah, we don't want to do that. That's what we There's did in the no last point. build. We and regret it. There were so many shortcuts made, and we don't want to have any shortcuts with this, so... We did the bare bones so that we could sleep, sleep. tonight. Um, yeah. Yeah. We would have been on perfect track if the workshop wasn't closing. We would be perfect to put everything in tomorrow, but yeah. sadly. <gasps> Look at that bug. Oh my God. <gasps> oh. Is that a Christmas beetle? Oh my God, can you get it? What a Christmas beetle. It is it. <gasps> oh, well. We'll get out in a sec. <laughs> we got more important things to do tell people about our failures <laughs> no, no it's not a failure no we've done pretty well i'm pretty chuffed with it it's really high quality the way the bed worked all measurements everything slipped in really really nicely it took a fair bit longer to do the all the little nooks and crannies and cutting things out and then of course on top of that you then need to undercoat every one of those pieces and then paint all the coats it just it just drags out for way too long for the time we had yeah um and we just yeah we just don't want to rush it so frustratingly we're living with a um, let's say half put together, maybe a third put yeah, together. Yeah, not even half, probably a third. Yeah. Enough to sleep in, and then once we can, the workshop opens up again in a few days, we'll just pick up where we left off. Yeah, and slot everything back in. There. Yeah. Kane, okay. we're almost there. It just doesn't look it. <laughs> so we're basically just going to figure out what to do the next couple of days. I think we'll just try and find a place that has air conditioning because it's going to be so hot and just kind of relax a bit. Mm and then get ready to hook into it next week. Next week will be the week that it all comes together officially. Yay. We've had some hiccups. <laughs> we promise next, next week. <laughs> next week's the week. Stay positive. We're going well. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>